uh, like the merch. So, um, what a weird experience. Okay, so look, we're on uh, up the Yale because um, we're on a um, busy Main South Road. We're in Templeton. Main South Road, we're at Templeton. Look, there's a lot, there's lots to read there. Chinese meals, fish and chips, hamburgers, toaster sandwiches, cold drinks. You want it, Templeton has got it. So we've been recommended to this place. So thank you to everyone who recommended to us through our YouTube channel. Um, I've got the standard one fish, one scoop. As you know, I've really got to yell because it's peak hour, it's about five o'clock today. So everyone's tools down, knocked off work, heading home. Uh, we came from so if you want to find this place, probably a good landmark where everyone knows, just before you hit the famous cookie time. So the cookie time factory. Um, so you're coming out of Hornby, you're heading south to Timmers, uh, Timaru, Tim, Timaru, Ashburton. You're heading that way, you go, you hit Templeton Fish and Chips, straight up to Templeton Fish and Chips, you've got the cookie time factory, um, which is, I, I guess, cookie time's iconic, right? Cookie, cookie time's just as iconic as fish and chips, jandals, tui, I don't know. What else is Kiwi Icon? But um, hey, let me know in the comments what's your what's your first memory of cookie time? Mine, I'm pretty sure the factory up the road used to do like a you walk through the factory, watch them all cook or bake, and you could like all you can eat lollies and like you used to go through and grab the cookies you wanted. I'm pretty sure I have Googled and searched for photos of evidence that that was a real thing and not just in my head, and I couldn't find it. But if that is just a made up memory, then my er other earliest memory is that crazy cookie time muncher monster. I don't want to say cookie monster because that's the blue guy, it's the cookie muncher. I'm pretty sure I've seen him dancing around, but I'll cut into that. But yeah, cookie time, been there since 1983. Templeton Fish and Chips, these guys are only new, they've only been here for about uh, a year and a half. A year and a half to two years, uh, with my mate John T inside said. Um, uh, yeah, but look, I'm talking too much, here you go, look, look at this, I'm just trying to stall so, um, because it's bloody hot, it's burning my hand. Look at that. Let's try, I'm gonna try this button shaped chip. I think they've got chicken salt on there. That's a good chip. Damn, that's a good chip. A weird setup inside, so if you've never been in, and there's a lot of shops like it, but it was just weird for me. You go in, you don't see any of the cooking happening. You go in, you get served, because they hear the, the alarm at the door go. They come out, take your order, then they go through a door, and they do all the prep and the cooking and the, um, yeah, and the wrapping up behind the scenes. So you can't see anyone in there. Um, it was a weird feeling felt like an empty shop but all the workers are at the back so Jonty said mum and oh, dad is the boss he's just working there filling in that's good have a look oh you've already had a look here we go look at this mama now I asked old Jonty um, I'm hoping it's Jonty and not Johnny sorry Jonty sorry mate um, I asked him what, what is it elephant fish and he he looks at me perplexed and he goes, yeah, I guess so. I'm like, hey, I guess so. Okay, if Johnty says I guess so, I guess it's elephant fish. I can't get enough of these chips. Damn, we're good. Okay, fish styles. No flop, pretty solid. Hopefully it's not overdone. Let me rip it in half. I'm still stalling because it's hot. It is hot. My hands are burning. Here we go. It's a thin cut. Pretty thin. Can you see that? It's pretty tasty. Um, so, 320 for the fish, 320 for the scoop, and they cook in vegetable oil. I don't know if it's the oil change, but it, it tastes nice. It tastes clean, and there's some taste. Yeah, it's lightly seasoned. I 
funny thing is the bat is a bit inconsistent, like it has some really good crunch. But of course the outside, you hear that? Pretty good crunch, but it's a bit chewy as hot at times too, the, the batter. My cameraman going hard at the, the chips, can't get enough of it. <laughs> Don't. Really nice. I rate that. I really do. You look on the. Um, there's lots of recommendations for this place. Um, I like for the taste. Look, if you're heading out and you're making one of those special trips to hit cookie time, like again, cookie time, good old cookie time. Uh, make sure you stop on if you're um, Templeton. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool shops here. Bakery, butcher, uh, bottle store. All your needs are here for a good good night out. Hit up these guys. Show them some love. Um, last thing before the score. Jonty inside. My mate Jonty. Um, he recommended for me to go to another shop. So he said, Yo, if you're going somewhere, my recommendation is... Um, Church Corner, Fish and Chips. So I'm like, okay, John T. I mean, you're running the show here. You 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 cook it, so I'm going to try it. That will be my next review. Church Corner. I'm going to hit there after this. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to give these guys a. I'm going to give them a four eight, four point eight out of seven. Really like the vibe in there, John T. Once you get to, you know, once you get talking, great, great vibe, great chat, great banter. Um, but even better, the food. Hey. Um, don't know. But yeah, another plug before I leave. 4.8 Templeton Fish and Chips. Uh, check out the merch store. Um, it's all live. Thank you to everyone who's been buying. I keep checking our um, in emails, the invoices and all that are coming through. It's like bing, bing, bing. People are buying the merch. Um, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching us. Um, yeah, just, just thank you for all the love. I appreciate every one of you. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you want to do. But Stay safe, support your local. Peace.